Hello and welcome to the 49th text tutorial. This time we're going to be looking at the crafting table 2, automatic crafting table 2, my apologies, which is fabled to not be working, however I have found a way to make it work. So yay! Right, basically what we've got here is some transposers taking wood out of a chest and just pumping it into the automatic crafting table. First thing to note is it is directional. So what you put into what slot will in we wire it up depends where it goes. So let's give it some power. I'll give it two pulses because I need that much. As you can see it's all going in. But they go into whichever slot it's hooked up to. Except for the top slot because that's the output slot. So right. I'm I want to make a crafting table or tons of them. So what you do is you just put the recipe in there and it'll eat them as it goes. Although kinda because how I did it it made sticks. But this is a bit buggy, and also to note, it doesn't actually take them when you put them in there, because you can't take them out either. But it's already made those sticks, so what you do is you put in the template, then you supply it with the materials, then you can make whatever you want with it. However, it's already made one when the template is still in there, that's worth noting, if you know what I mean. Right, let's have a look at the recipe for this. It's, it's strange, because this is a direct uh, kind of... This greys the borders between reds, power, and build craft because looking here, it's an automatic crafting table with with wooden pipes. It's all build craft, and here it's red power with a filter and yeah, whatnot. I'd recommend you use the build craft way though because it is a lot cheaper. Three wooden transport pipes are a lot easier to make than filters, which require red dirt wafer and uh, tons of crap. But yeah, they're not too expensive to make if you make them the Buildcraft way. They don't even require as much as one gold ingot, I think. Let me just check that. Yeah, they don't even require one gold's worth of EMC. Right, so anyway, let's give the top one power, which I didn't actually plan for. Oh, a nice thing about having this being red power is that if you shift-click on it, you can place blocks on it. Whereas with Buildcraft things, which I don't have lying around... Let's just get an automatic crafting table to show you what I mean. This is definitely Buildcraft. Look, it requires gears and whatnot, and it's from Buildcraft. So I'm going to hold on shift and right click. Nah, it just doesn't happen. So it's very nice that you can shift right click on that one. Or, oh, well, yeah, that. Right, so pulse this thing, and automatic crafting table comes out. Oh. Well, since I broke it anyways, I may as well switch to my other world to show you just what you can do with this awesome new thing. As you might have guessed by the name, this world aims to make high voltage solar panels automatically. So as you can see, there's a hell of a lot of crap. So much so that the world can't even render all of it. There we go. My frame rate has gone down to 30 FPS, that's just how intensive this is. Also, it's a bit inefficient because, well, as you can see there, stuff's just popping out, it's overflowing everywhere. But anyways, let me take you through the system quickly. So, okay, that leave you so at the start, this is only for all the filters uh, and whatnot that require a pulse. So I can just turn that off and on as a whim. Anyways, so initially we're starting off by making some... Ugh... There's also a problem with this system. You cannot use pneumatic tubes into this kind of crafting table. Another reason why I like the one, the second one, however, I only figured out how to work it right at the end of this production. But yeah, we are making empty uh, RE batteries, sorry. So rubber is being extracted he here, pumped along into this crafting table, which pretty much only work with build craft power, probably. Then the overflow is going down to chests down here. As you can see, there's a lot of waste. I'm going to make a revised version of this soon, with less waste considerably. But any waste is taken away, so it shouldn't lag the system too much. By system, I mean my computer. Anyways, this is also getting... Everything is generated by the sun, by the way. Every raw material is made by the sun, and everything else is crafted. So, by crafted, as you mean, as you can see, there are like there's one main kind of runway, with branches extending off of it. Each branch is where something needs to be crafted or produced. As you can see, there are a hell of a lot of them. There is, I'm just going to skip to this system here. I've had a fair bit of trouble with this system, but yeah. 
this is just this is just making refined iron, no problem there. Oh, also one thing to note: pneumatic tubes do work as long as the crafting table has a full recipe, because otherwise it will just put things in any slot it deems fit. Right. So, oh, this is another great use of the crafting table mark too. Energy crystals do not stack. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Wait, what am I searching for? Crystal diamonds. Fuck's sake. Ah, as you can see, it's starting to overflow. Kind of. Anyways, yeah, I want a few of these. As you can see, they do not stack. Not at all. Oh, it's nighttime. So, to overcome that, I had to A, figure out how to use a Mark II if it works, or B, give up. So, I managed to figure it out. And basically, the Mark II has an inventory, which is fucking useful. So, yeah, I can make it do that as many times as I want. And it just automatically pumps off the HP transformers this thing's making. They all go into here. As you can see, there's a stack of them now because solar panels take a long time to make. And any overflow goes down there. Let's see how many I have. Almost, three, almost four stacks of overflow. Wow. And so far, this has only been running for about 10 20 minutes, by the way. And it's made two high voltage solar arrays. Whilst that may not sound like much, it generates a ton of EMC and. It is the equivalent of this many solar panels. Oh no, one of them is the equivalent of this many solar panels. For more perspective on that, one solar panel is worth all of these electronic circuits, which is five, nine... I don't know, a lot of them. <laughs> and then there's a ton of stacks of coal dust. All this is from one single high voltage one, by the way. One high voltage solar panel. All these RE batteries. But you get the idea, this machine saves you a hell of a lot of hassle with crafting. And it also does the transformers instantly. As you can see there, a stack of MV transformers. There should be a stack of LV in this one. Yep. But yeah, this saves you a hell of a lot of time crafting high voltage solar panels. And there shall be soon a revised version of this where there shouldn't be... There should either be one overflow chest or there shouldn't be overflow at all. But anyways, that's maybe next time. So, I just noticed, but this is my 14th tech tutorial, so the 50th one, hmm, maybe I should do something special. However, I am pretty much out of ideas, so I would like you to tell me in the comment section below what I should do. Oh, also, I'll be having a special soon, so leave your comments on what you think that should be, otherwise, you're in for a surprise. Anyways, thanks to you for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this quick video on how to do the crafting ta automatic crafting table 2. Uh, yeah, see you next time, guys. Ciao.